What is up, Blazers? It is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian. Hi, guys, doing today? Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, guys, welcome to the center of the beautiful city of Chelyabinsk. That's right, guys. I'm back in my hometown, Chelyabinsk. The title of this video, guys, just in case if you're wondering, is clickbait. I'm actually not moving back uh, to Chelyabinsk. I've not done any clickbait in a while, so I decided I'm gonna troll you guys a little bit here. I actually came over here just for a bit for like the holiday season to visit some friends and family and all this kind of stuff. And basically, I haven't been to my good old hometown of Chelyabinsk for like four months, so I decided to. Today. Let's go out to the center of the city, check out what's going on and uh, what the beautiful sense of uh, Chelyabinsk is like these days and maybe try to notice some changes. Let's go. Okay guys, so what we are about to answer right now, if we don't get run over by a horse over here, there's just hella horses in Chelyabinsk. <laughs> what we're about to enter right now, right here, is something that is called usually Lidovigorodok, or like Ice Town. And it's something that I understand is basically almost like only exists these days during New Year seasons in like the Soviet towns, you know what I mean? Like the more Soviet the city is, the more likely that they will have an Ice Town inside of it. On like the main square, which we're in front of right now here in Chelyabinsk. Because like, you know, in Moscow or St. Petersburg, like you say, more progressive Russian cities, they don't do that. They do fairs and stuff, but here you have the Ice Town, which is something that I, you know, remember and uh, love from my childhood. So uh, let's go and check it out. So let's see what they got. And here's your boy Camel, by the way. What a thick fella. Yeah, dude. <laughs> The speaker quality here is absolute dog shit, you guys. But anyway, this is essentially what an ice town in like Soviet, uh, you know, the Soviet times was. This is essentially what it is. They uh, hire people to make uh, huge, I guess, statues and all sorts of things out of ice. And to be completely honest, there's a lot of like decent artistry that goes into making these. And uh, they're actually harder to make, I feel like, than your run of the mill, like fairs or anything. People work really, really hard for them, but they only shine, I guess, and stand on the main square here of Chelyabinsk for a very short period of time. So, uh, yeah, I do respect the craft and the artistry of the people that make these uh, ice statues. So, for example, we got like a dragon here, and also you can see that these are like all sorts of slides, which are also literally made like, a, like out of wood and ice. When I was a kid, I used to love these. I'm not gonna go on it now because with my dummy thick ass, I will actually murder somebody. I do not want to crush somebody's neck with my thighs. <laughs> but anyway, it's nice. It's nice that they are here for the kids. And here's, you know, something that I'm not used to at this point either, is uh, actually any communist symbols. Because, you know, I've been living in the sense of St. Petersburg, nothing is pretty much communist there. But obviously, since we're back in Chelyabinsk, there we go. We have uh, our old comrade Lenin looking over the entirety of what's going on. I've actually already been to this location before, and I want to show you guys, like, my favorite thing in this entire square, which is... I just don't get it. Anyways, guys, here we are. We actually arrived. I'm, I was talking about this. Uh, this right here. <laughs> So these, I guess, are supposed to be mushrooms. And first of all, I don't really get the significance significance of mushrooms being there. I have a couple of jokes in mind, you know, first of all, you know, these are the shrooms that we're doing while coming up with ideas for uh, which kind of, you know, statues they could use. And also, this is not me talking, okay, this is you guys, but I actually took a picture in with one of those and uh, you guys literally said that these look like chodes. And I'm gonna be completely honest, they do, especially this one right here, does kind of look like a chode. And uh, again, not me speaking, you guys, it's your dirty minds, not mine, but yeah, they do look like chodes just a little bit. <laughs> and I really just don't get the uh, the significance. And uh, there's a horse right there. Hold on. We checked out the main square. I think it's time we go to uh, the central street here, the pedestrian street. Check out what's different there. Uh, while we're here and we're sort of getting to our destination, I wanted to just talk about uh, my overall feelings uh, after living in St. Petersburg for four months. Honestly, um, it's nice to come back, it's nice to hang out with your friends and your family and everything, but when I'm here in the city center, like, yeah, it's cool, it looks fine, but honestly, you just, after being in St. Petersburg, you just realize how tiny the city really is, you know what I mean? But also another thing is that right now, since I'm here, you know, obviously, I don't have my own apartment, so I'm staying over at my parents' place, which is located still in that, like, hood. Honestly, after living in the sense of St. Petersburg for, like, 
like four months and not seeing any kami blocks in uh, in my vicinity, should I say. I'm kind of looking at kami blocks as if they're like a new thing, like I've never seen them before. And to be completely honest, they depress the hell out of me. Like I recorded a small video while coming up to here to the city center. I don't know, it just makes me so depressed just looking at those, okay? Even though I spent my entire life in those buildings, but now just looking back at them, it's like, wow, you know, this is where I came from. By the way, this right here is a callback, you guys, because if you look uh, behind me right now, you see this sort of like ornaments above the streets. Recently, I recorded a video in St. Petersburg, right? It's walking around the uh, New Year's decorations there and everything. And I said that there on one of the streets where I recorded, I said that it looks exactly like Chilebinsk, basically, like that area. And here it is actually underneath it. So it's a callback. You guys should watch that fucking video because it got like 50k views. That is just unfair. That video is pretty good. Yeah, all I'm saying is that it's like exactly the same. But it's almost kind of funny because these cities are like 2,000 kilometers apart. Yet these uh, Christmas decorations are the exact same. Now guys, as we walk in here on, uh, you know, in front of beautiful Soviet uh, architecture and everything, I noticed a particular um, Christmas ornament here or New Year's uh, decoration here that I really like is this right here, which I thought originally was just some sort of like, uh, you know, like a bell, like a toy or whatever that you hang on a, on a Christmas tree. But apparently this is like a lady with a skirt completely uh, <laughs> open. So you can legally get under her skirt. There we are, guys. Feels pretty good. There you go. These are the perverted monuments of Chilebinsk. <laughs> All right, guys, so right now we're actually going on again. The new embankment here in St. Uh, I'm so used to saying St. Petersburg now. Chelyabinsk, God damn it! See, guys, I switched up. I switched up. Now I immediately want to say St. Petersburg when I'm talking about the city that I'm in anyway. Now, guys, I was actually here before on this uh, playground and I was about to talk about how um, a lot of the things installed in this playground got broken by the locals already. It's been like four months since this uh, playground was installed. And for example, if you look at this here, uh, it's destroyed to freaking oblivion. Like, it's not supposed to be like this. And you guys saw the way that kid was hitting that thing. That is exactly why this thing is fucking broken. That was like the perfect example. I couldn't even, I couldn't even look for a better example of how like that thing was not made to be hit like this, right? But that's the way they're doing this. So yeah, uh, that's broken right there. I mean, this is pretty classic. You know, always when a new playground is installed, you can count that you give like three months until it's completely fucking destroyed, basically. Another thing that you guys might remember from my video that I did when I was walking around this playground when it was brand new is uh, this thing right here, which you're supposed to turn, uh, basically, to make this thing go up. They broke the handle off of that, so there's like a, just like a metal prong now there's no like actual handle that they, they used to be there before because somebody just fucking broke it so yeah that's the <laughs> that's the Chilebin's Clive dude they installed the nicest playgrounds ever in this entire city you come four months later and it's fucking broken it's just kind of sad to be honest right One thing I noticed as well is something that I was feeling. I've been here for a couple of days now, like three days or so. Man, I really do feel more confident and uh, like myself almost in St. Petersburg compared to here. It's almost like it's like a fresh start. Like my circle is newer and like I'm in full responsibility of my own life, you know, like I don't have my parents around and it's a good feeling. In St. Petersburg, I feel way, way more confident than I do here, which is interesting. I've, n I've, not, I've actually not expected to feel that. If anything, I expected if I'm gonna move to St. Petersburg, uh, I'm gonna be lost and confused. It's actually the complete opposite. Here, when I come back to Chelyabinsk, I feel like I'm on a, you know, like a bird that escaped outside of a cage now, which got trapped back in the cage. That's what I feel like. Do you think about me now and then? Do you think about me now and then? Cause I'm coming home again. Maybe we could start again. Now this, guys, is the Chilebins that I remember. Nobody is out in the streets. I mean, admittedly, it's like minus 17 degrees Celsius right now. I'm actually, you know, freezing my ass off right now. And I came here in <laughs> from Spain, St. Petersburg in fucking sneakers. This is how out of touch I am at this point that I came here in sneakers expecting I'm not gonna die. But yeah, this is the Chilebins that I remember, dude. And this is definitely one thing that I like about Chilebins sometimes compared to St. Petersburg is that I feel it's solitude right now, dude. I'm in the center of the city, but I'm walking and there's like three people in the vicinity of five kilometers. And it's nice, it's nice. That's something you definitely do not get in St. Petersburg because there, in such a big city, there's gonna be people everywhere at all times.
Guys, I'm actually freezing my ass off, so I decided to take a run to the nearest coffee shop. I'm not used to this fucking weather. Honestly, I'm become a little European sissy bitch. <laughs> All right, mission succeeded. I drank a coffee. Now we're feeling good. Now we warm a cell again. Now guys, this right here, I think, is pretty much what we're gonna be rounding off this video. Um, I feel like we had a great walk on uh, the streets of Chelyabinsk right now. We're in the main street here, uh, Lenina Street, as opposed to Nevsky in St. Petersburg. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm about to go meet up with a friend, so uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Maybe if you um, found this video relatable in some way, because, you know, maybe you like somebody that moved out out of a smaller town to a bigger town, and maybe found something that I said true. Maybe you thought these were bars and facts then make sure to give this video a like and overall if you enjoyed this if you found it humorous whatever if you guys want to support me additionally then as always go down to the link in the description to my patreon donate to it i would gladly appreciate it it would help me out a lot and yeah guys that's pretty much it for today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one probably already back in st petersburg Peace.